I need to do more to empower women. I need to do more to teach simple and effective tools in martial arts that everyone can do, whether you have an interest in martial arts or not. Women should know how to walk taller, use their voice, stand up for themselves, and have simple, effective actions that they can take to be more confident in themselves to defend themselves. Has your life, your dreams been interrupted? Good news. It is possible to reinvent our lives. People are doing it every day, and some are brave enough to share the struggles, disappointments, and challenges. If you are looking for a new beginning, a do-over, or to rediscover your passion, maybe even find a new one, then grab a cup of coffee and let's talk. Interrupted, Act 2, Reinventing Your Legacy, with your host, Coach Lori. Hey, it's Coach Lori. Join me for my master class every Friday at 9 a.m. First, it's Tango Your Talk. How to engage 50% of your audience that might be checking out, plus a special guest. For the link, email me at lawcoach at comcast.net. Katrina Jensen is with us today, and I'm so excited, first and foremost, because we're colleagues in Trinant, and she is an emerald in our company, and I love that as something I strive for. She is also into Taekwondo. Me being naive, I don't know all the belts and everything, so will you just list all the titles you hold? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, Lori. Yeah, so I am a fourth degree black belt in, which is a master title ranking in the World Taekwondo Federation and a third degree black belt in the American Taekwondo Association. I hold a blue belt in jiu-jitsu and I've done extensive training in the Krav Maga. The kids at her studio call her Miss J. Miss J, that's right. We always start with how life is now. So tell us about your life and what, what you do and what you love about it. Oh my gosh, how life is now. Well, I'm a mom to two little kids and then I have a daughter that I, my husband and I adopted a while ago, who's a awesome adult. Now we live in Eugene, Oregon. We are a traditional business owner and then I operate a home business. So we're very involved in our martial arts school. We own and operate a Taekwondo school and work a lot with our community and youth and women empowerment. Our work is very a part of our home life, of our social life, of we are fully invested in the people we cultivate life with and our kids are part of it and we're busy, we're active. My goal is to always try to do my best in raising good humans, being a good role model for the kids that we work with and and then also for my team that I work with as well. I was so fortunate to take that short training you did at convention. That's um, right. Yeah, safety. And I, you know, I'm looking at you and I, I see you on so many calls and I don't see you as intimidating or scary, but I'll tell you what, that class, like you taught us yeah. <laughs> in people's face and I loved it. And, and it is, it's so important, especially as women to feel empowered and not only in life, in going to the grocery store, but also in business. So some of the things that I've heard you talk about, not only with your brick and mortar, but your network marketing, talk a little bit about how you help women get so that they're able to get on their own two feet to, to make mm-hmm. things happen. I was fortunate to be raised by a strong woman, have a sibling of a strong woman. I was a, kind of an awkward kid growing up and I liked to run around rough and tough with the boys and I would love sports. And so when my parents put me in martial arts, I really think that was a a defining time for me as just a person in, in that time frame of growing up as a child, I'm an eighties baby, nineties kid. Like, so I, I really think it helped create confidence within myself. It taught me how to know who I am. As I grew up, doing martial arts, which I did other sports as well, but none of my friends, none of my girlfriends did martial arts. It was just me, really the only female in a lot of these classes. And so you have to learn to kind of know who you are and what you're comfortable with and what you might not be comfortable with in your trainings. And you don't have a choice to think sometimes. You have to react. And so I think I learned a lot in that process of trusting myself. In turn, as I... Went into high school and my early years of college, I saw so many women or friends that I had who didn't know themselves, who didn't know 
that inner peace in like, I don't have to date this person or I don't have to go and work that job. Like there were, there were just things that I, I saw a weakness in, and I'm not trying to, to put anyone down. It just, I, it, it just, I could see this happening. And so at that time, a girl I went to high school with, it was a tragic situation. She was kidnapped and murdered and it really kind of shook our community. And I remember at that moment thinking to myself, I need to do more to empower women. I need to do more to teach simple and effective tools in martial arts that everyone can do, whether you have an interest in martial arts or not. Women should know how to walk taller, use their voice, stand up for themselves and have simple, effective actions that they can take to be more confident in themselves to defend themselves. Through that process, I really started diving into more empowering of women and and setting up that tool base. That kind of just steered. I built a martial arts business with my husband. We've had a lot of success with that. We work with youth. We work with women and, and just really building that cornerstone of simple and effective movements, building confidence, how we treat each other. Respect is our foundation. And when I saw network marketing, I, <laughs> you, know, you know this, I had no interest in network marketing, like no interest at all. And so I kind of feel bad now because I poo-pooed the industry for a very long time, not because I knew what it was, not for any educated reason. It was just this society hold it has on people and this attitude. So once I actually was open enough, a good friend said, Kat, I think you need to check this out. I think this is actually right up your alley. And I was still confused by why she would suggest that. But when I listened to the information, I was very intrigued with the presentation, very intrigued with the message it delivered. And it was very similar to a lot of these courses I've taken in the martial arts industry on leadership, on personal development. You know, that's so much of what I was doing in martial arts, which was our foundation, just all of a sudden made a lot of sense when I was looking at this other industry. So once I was was able to kind of recognize those two things, I was so much more open. And then I fell in love with this concept of regardless of education, regardless of status, regardless of race, regardless of what you've done in business or or work life before, everyone can come to the table at the same level and create whatever you wanted to do. One of our mentors, Catherine Belleville, she says, our industry, our company, we're a personal development company with a compensation plan attached to it. And I love that concept. Moving forward then, from there on, I started building this team of women and husbands and partners and we were all on a mission like it really attracted people who were who wanted more for life and I think it's easy to be in a in a room of people like that even if you're intimidated even if you're scared we all have a dream on our heart right we all have an idea of what we want to be when we grow up or create and I think when you get in a room with people who know how to cast a vision of of creating something bigger than yourself or what you're currently living in and not only cast a vision but provide a platform and tools and a strategy to execute that then it's just learning skills being in that space working with people who wanted to learn skills to make their life better. That gets me fired up. Just attaching myself to that concept, taking what I've learned in martial arts, partnering with people who are forward thinkers, it just was a beautiful married success there. That's what we've been able to do. It's how I've met people like you. I mean, this this industry completely changed my life and set me on a track of wanting to create bigger, not necessarily financially, but like more in the sense of who I am and what I contribute to society is how it all kind of and continues to inspire me to want to do more. I love that. And what I love about the leaders in our company is they could be untouchable and they're not. Tell us the story because you got into this network marketing and at first you weren't quite sure about it, but then COVID hit and your brick and mortar was shut down. Yeah, absolutely. I get kind of um, still emotional about this because it was such an eye-opening experience. I joined network marketing, never thought I'd be in this space. I've had some great success, some hiccups too, but some pretty good, quick success right out of the gate. It was awesome. It was really fun. I I loved it. And then the world shut down (laughs) and our brick and mortar, our martial arts school, it's a pretty solid institute in our little community and it's done very well for itself. And my husband is 
I mean, that's his dream. I mean, it's our dream, but like, that's his everything. I live in a state that we had some pretty strong restrictions. When that happened, it was very uneasy in our household, not because we weren't positive people, but the unknown was just so out of our control. (laughs) Everyone had an opinion. (laughs) Everyone had an opinion. Everyone had a feeling and you couldn't escape it. You know, we were in survival mode. It was probably one of the most vulnerable, you know, I've been married going on 17 years. It was probably one of the most vulnerable moments in our marriage and our partnership in business that I've ever seen my husband at as a man, as a provider. I think he he was going through a lot of things. At one point, I remember he just seemed broken. And it was just, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, you know, my dream is going to blow up in smokes and I have, I can't do anything about it. We lost 80% of our clientele like that due to what happened. And I was able at that time, I had built my business within Trenant pretty quickly, pretty fast, had some really great leaders. And we were making, I, I made at that point, I was making around six figures a year. And so it was a very humbling moment for me to just be able to tell my husband, babe, I I got us. Like whatever is going to happen, you just need to know what I've been able to create. I got us. And, and so it taught me how the importance of having a plan B before you need a plan B. I didn't know the world was going to shut down. I didn't know these things were going to happen. I didn't know the importance of second streams of income, third streams of income. It wasn't even a part of my thought process, but holy cow, do I ever believe someone was looking after us because it, it, allowed the pressure of what the school had created for our household. It allowed to take that off my husband and he could figure out where we were at, how we needed to navigate what was going to happen. Like our mortgage was still paid. Our bills were still paid. Things were still happening. It was huge. And at that moment, I remember thinking like, I'm so thankful. I was open to seeing this because it was everything. Coach Lori here. I am not anti-aging. I am all about aging gracefully. Did you know we stopped making collagen at a certain age? And did you know powdered collagen has to go through your whole digestive system? So I am a big fan of Glow Liquid Collagen. It helps me age gracefully inside and out. To order, check the link below. By the way, if you order two at the same time, free shipping. Or if you would like to be an affiliate, make a little extra cash, click the affiliate link. Our mortgage was still paid. Our bills were still paid. Things were still happening. It was huge. And at that moment, I remember thinking like, I'm so thankful I was open to seeing this because it was everything. And then, you know, we're we're moving forward. It, the last three years, I'm not going to lie, have still been rocky and shaky with our brick and mortar, but it's been on the up because the way people market now, I mean, everything has changed since that time, even in a traditional business format. It was a blessing. It changed everything. And it really created a belief in the importance of multiple streams of income. But really, it gave me a huge eye-opening of home-based business is legit. People need to recognize that this platform can really, really make a huge impact on a family, whether you're wanting a few hundred bucks here or there to just cover basic bills, or you're looking at long-term income. There's a, there's a spot for anybody. And so I really have come to believe the importance of that. I love that. I remember when I first found network marketing, I had had my kids and I was trying to lose some weight. Someone had told me about these natural pills And I got some, and then everybody asked how I lost weight. And that was before internet. So everything was done by mail. Yeah. And I was able to pay for my products and make a little extra money as, as a mom. And what I loved about it was I loved that. It felt like, like in the Bible, when it talks about discipleship, it felt like discipleship. It's like, oh, hey, do you want to make some money? I don't need to be making all the money. I loved that concept. This company that we have found is so generous in their comp plan and make it so, in fact, the first, well, not anymore. It's the second rating now, but the second ranking is a Jeep. How awesome to have your car paid for. Yeah. For me, it's been oh, two years. I don't know how long for you. It's, I'm going on five years not having to to pull out of our personal account to pay for a car. 
it, it's so cool. And I remember my husband, like we, right before I joined, we were actually looking for Jeeps. Like he had always wanted a Jeep. We needed a new vehicle. And so we were looking at Jeeps. And then I saw this and I was like, what? Like, that's crazy. So it was really cool when I, when I hit that rank, I was able to just tell my husband, Hey, go pick out your Jeep. It was a total wife win. I'm not going to lie. Like I, I took credit for all of that. <laughs> Still take credit for it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm a big believer in multiple streams of income. And as a single mom, I would rather see somebody take on a home business that they can be home. Their kids could help them with it. They could learn how to be quiet when mom's on Zoom, all those things. Yeah. But at least mom is home because what I experienced is it's so difficult to make it as a single person, whether you have kids or not, it, it, this economy, it, you almost need two people to pay rent or a mortgage. Having multiple streams of income and one of which you can do from home as a single mom just seems to me like, number one, you're running your own business. Number two, you're getting your car paid for it. It feels like, why do we have to think about this? And I love that you were open and you said yes. And you said someone was looking out for me. And often someone's looking out for us, but do we say yes? Right. You know, we're presented with these opportunities and we're suspicious because of it's been kind of set up that way. And there have been some bad things that have happened. We know that. But if we look, we do our research, we find out all the facts rather than just a blatant rejection. People can make a decision. For me, I, I fell in love with the products. I just was thinking of my mom days. I thought, oh, if I can pay for my products and have a little extra, that's bonus. All of a sudden, my upline calls and goes, when are you going to go get your Jeep? I'm like, what? Just when are you (laughs) going to go get your Jeep? I'm like, seriously, what are you talking about? He goes, you're qualified to get paid to drive a Jeep. And I didn't even know it. I was just telling people how these products helped me. Then I caught the vision. I'm like, wow, this could really be something. And you got a nice Jeep. I love my Jeep. (laughs) (laughs) Katrina, thank you so much for sharing your story. And when the world shut down, so many of us went through this vulnerable time. And I had worked in radio every day. I thought there's no traffic and I'm a traffic reporter. I'm going to lose my job. But I was basically an essential worker, which I was like, "Hmm, who knew? And I was so grateful for that. But also I was so grateful that in worrying that there's no traffic. (laughs) I may not have a job that I had this plan B if I needed it. it. I wouldn't be devastated. So I know so many people have had those experiences. And as we're coming out of it, I think we're we're a little wiser. We're like, well, we don't think it'll happen again tomorrow, but we want to be a little more prepared. With all these amazing things that you do and you know, what is it that you really want people to know? I really want people to know that they can create the life that they want. But I really do believe that we need to, I was just listening to another podcast this morning, but it it was just basically talking about how we have to take action. I believe home business gives people an option, like you said, to work from anywhere, to be able to create a schedule on their terms that's benefited me and, and being able to be an active parent in my kids' lives, which is really important. And I'm really lucky. I have friends who work the nine to fives who are constantly zigzagging from one place once they get off the clock. And I have some, a lot of flexibility that I get to be in my kid's classroom when I choose to be and pick my kids up from school. And I get to know my kid's friends and those parents, which is really important to me, who my kids are hanging out with. Home business is a huge, huge platform that can change people's lives. Is it work? Yes. Do you need to continue to be in a mindset of sharpening skills? Yes. But that's with anything that's great. Like anything you want to create out of and and, and make good, you have to put in effort. You have to put in action. And I think when you surround yourself with people who are of that same mind set, the possibilities are endless. It really, they really are. And What I see as our society, we all become, we've shut ourselves off from human kindness. We've shut ourselves off from relationships. When you do that, then it's almost easy to not build the dream you have on your heart because it's scary, because it's hard, because it makes, it forces you to do something that is difficult. But when you do those things, growth happens. And I truly believe that can create success. My hope for people is 
don't knock home business because it really is an incredible platform when you have the right company, the right leadership set up. There's so many other industries. Every industry has hiccups. Every industry has flaws, but you really make something and can create something based off of what you want it to be. So partnering with the right people, being in that growth mindset, I think is so important for, especially we live in a mental health crisis right now. When you can surround yourself with people who are positive, forward thinking people, I think it's healthy. That's like healthcare in my opinion. (laughs) You know, Constantly being pushed out of your comfort zone. It's huge. And I mean, with both of your businesses, that's a huge thing. And so many people say, well, don't be afraid. No, we're going to be afraid. Just do it. Do it afraid. I have done many things afraid. I still do things where I have something in the pit of my stomach. But I'm thankful that I'm around people who have pushed me, who have not let me be my own worst enemy. I mean, I, I really do. When I look back at You know, like I said before, when I started martial arts, I really think a lot of those early decisions helped set me up. And so it's made me recognize as a parent, the importance of my kids being involved in things that are going to be good and safe, but also challenging and hard, helping establish that character development, I think is so important. And I think we don't, we don't emphasize that enough in society today, character development, the people we decide to raise, the people we decide to be is a huge thing that we need to focus on. When you get to be in an environment that's going to force that out of you, that's a good day in my book. Okay. My last question is, and, and it could be physical or audio. What are, and it could be book or podcast. What are you reading? Oh, that is good. I actually, so I'm a huge audible person. I literally just started, uh, pulled up the wired for wealth. Our leaders, Lori and I's leaders just went through the training. With Alec, but not really Trevetti. Trevetti, yes. That's yeah. right. Oh, so good. Now, have you read that book? I did. And you know what I discovered? So I had a little bit of a traumatic childhood and I feel like um, I'm really good at forgiveness. I feel like I've moved on, done my thing. And this is embarrassing and I'm going to be really vulnerable, but because I chose to do the exercises at the end of the chapter, I mean, how often yeah. do we not? Right. I chose right. to do it because our leaders were so impacted and I recognized that I was holding on to a a lot of resentment that I had not really recognized, just so, like some things from jobs, things just that had happened. I didn't realize that I had these festering little resentments. And because we had, like he would say, write a list and like instead of 10 things or three, he's like, write a hundred things. And I'm like, oh, seriously, that's going to take me all day. But I did it. And I am so grateful because I feel like that broke some things in me that I didn't know were getting in my way. So I highly recommend this book. Have you done anything with it yet? I'm just starting. I literally just started reading this because I finished Atomic Habits. That's a good book. Yeah. So I, um, I just started reading this. And so I'm really excited to, to navigate that process. But the, the, again, what career, what job environment are you in where your boss is encouraging you to expand your mind, to grow, to deal with the deep rooted things that like you, Lori shared that have traumatized us that we don't even recognize that we layer on to our everyday life and interactions with people. I just think this is so important and I'm just so thankful God put me on the path to grow and be in a constant state of growth instead of plot me at a d- desk. And I, I'm not, again, I'm not trying to hurtful about this, but where I'm not, I'm stagnant. I can't be stagnant. What other books have you read recently? I just, before I finished Atomic Habits, I reread Think and Grow Rich. I really love Napoleon Hill. I'm a huge Grant Cardone fan. I've finished uh, several of his books. Oh, what to say? I love that book. Yeah, when you're, uh, when you talk to yourself, what to say when you talk to yourself? Oh, another book that I absolutely love is The War of Art. That was a huge impact book for me. The War of Art, not The Art of War. The yeah, War. Stephen Pressfield. And he has a new one. I have not read that yet. Turning Pro. The Art of War really, really made a huge impact in how I can shift my paradigm thinking and the the resistance that we are faced with all the time and how we handle that. That it could be good. It's not necessarily bad. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Katrina. You've given us so much to think about and I just appreciate you and I'm so 
grateful to be on a team with people like you and that we get to connect on such a regular basis. So thank you so much for coming on. Oh my gosh. Thanks for having me, Lori. I love what you do. I love your attitude. I love your heart. And it's so fun to see and hear the conversations you have with everyday people who just are out there doing their part to make our world better. So thank you. Do you have brain fog? Are you exhausted all the time? Do you struggle with depression? How about cravings? Imagine an enzyme that turns sugar into fiber. For a link to order your bottle, email me at lacoach at comcast.net. That's L-A-C-O-A-C-H at comcast.net. I need to do more to empower women. I need to do more to teach simple and effective tools in martial arts that everyone can do. Women should know how to walk taller, use their voice, stand up for themselves, and have simple, effective actions that they can take to be more confident in themselves to defend themselves. If you love this podcast, here's a big ask. Will you share with your friends and family? Subscribe, give us a review, and a five-star rating so that others looking to reinvent their lives will be able to get the help they're looking for. Thank you in advance.